It can be painful, embarrassing and damaging to your oral health if you suffer from gum recession. Hey, it's Nora and in this video we'll look at the main causes of receding gums and I'll share my professional tips on the best ways to prevent and treat them. What are receding gums? Receding gums occur when the gum tissue around the teeth wears or diminishes and exposes more of the tooth and root. This gum recession causes gaps around the teeth where bacteria can build up, causing serious oral health conditions that may result in tooth loss. Let's face it, lots of people have this problem and sometimes you may not even know you have it. That's because it is a slow progressing condition. Some indications that you have receding gums are tooth sensitivity and your tooth appearing longer. But what causes receding gums? First, brushing your teeth too hard. We know that brushing your teeth too aggressively results in damage to your gums causing recession and vetches or flossing too hard. You can damage your gums by pushing down on them too hard with harsh floss tape. Or gum disease like gingivitis or periodontitis. This bacterial infection of the gums is a major cause of gum recession because it affects the tissue and bone that supports your teeth. Last but not least, and as always, a poor dental hygiene. Not cleaning your teeth properly results in bacterial infections like gum disease. So here are my tips on how to prevent and treat receding gums. The good news is that all receding gum conditions can be treated. Advanced gum recessions, unfortunately, may need surgery. So I would advise going to see your dentist in this case, or as always, prevention. Tip number one. Don't brush too hard, use a gentle motion and always use a soft brush. I often recommend the Sonicare electric toothbrush to my patients because in this case, in my opinion, it's just the best brush on the market. Concentrate on brushing one tooth at a time and brush twice a day. You don't need to brush your teeth three or four times a day. Twice a day is absolutely enough, but make sure you clean them well. Tip number two, use interdental brushes instead of flossing. Studies have proven that interdental brushes are more effective than flossing and way more gentle to your gums than floss. If you clean your teeth thoroughly every day using my tips above, you will prevent gum recessions, keep your mouth healthy and avoid more serious health conditions such as gum disease, halitosis and cavities. It will also have a positive effect on your overall well-being. If you'd like to have the four simple steps of the perfect daily dental routine at a glance, please make sure you download my free cheat sheet below. It will make your daily dental routine so much easier. You are not alone with this. We'll be there every step of the way to make your mouth healthy. Just drop me a line and I answer as app. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video and see you next week. Bye!